Hi, this is Shani Kringen, Goddess Kringen, Seattle. It is now September 30th, 2020. And there's somebody doing really loud yard work out my window. I hope that you're not hearing that. Uh, it's off and on. Uh, I'm really grateful. I've been really moody lately, really angry, really stressed out. Um, but I'm trying to focus right now on the good feeling that I have. In the world right now, there's a lot of drama, a lot of people being rude and angry to each other, a lot of polarization, a lot of hypocrisy, prejudice, uh, censorship, uh, people arguing about whether free speech should be allowed or not, whether we should censor things or not. I believe in ethics. And I'm a fan of free speech. I'm a fan of not censoring. I'm a fan. I'm not a fan of people being rude and abusive and threatening to each other. Um, but I am a fan of free speech being allowed. And I just was in a Zoom meeting with some people that I work with. And I was just such a breath of fresh air. Today, this morning, I went to a food bank. And I say this with no embarrassment, no shame. Um, I'm not a millionaire, but I don't desperately need the food bank. But if people like me don't go to the food bank, the food gets thrown away. And in Seattle, there's a lot of food that there's an overabundance, it seems right now at least, um, of food being donated to food banks when it expires and from the grocery store. And so they give it to food banks. And so today I went to the food bank. I go every week. I've been doing this for years. And I got like guacamole and butter lettuce. And um, I got some organic meat that I wanted, some organic red meat. I got some sparkling water, um, some fruits and vegetables, a variety of I forgot what else, but I, I share it with a woman that I help and I share it with my boyfriend and I share some with my mom from time to time. Um, I get canned goods and dried goods. There's a pantry down the road near my neighborhood and I might start donating to them because I have an excess of, of some canned foods that I think I can share with other people. So I'm really grateful for all the interesting food. It's kind of like a treasure hunt every week when I go to the food bank. And this helps me spend less money on food so that I can spend, because honestly, my cat is on a special raw meat diet that I get at the health food pet store. And his food is like eight, ten, eight to 10 to $12 a pound. So his food is very expensive. I mean, I will say my cat's food is more expensive per pound than the food that I buy for myself. So I go to the food bank partly to save money on my food cost so that I can afford to get my cat really good, good, good food so that he is so healthy because he never eats any junk food so that I don't have to take him to the vet hardly ever. So he's doing really well. And I'm so grateful I was just, I got in kind of a angry discussion with some people about the United States presidential debate, which was on last night, which I did not watch because I think of that kind of media as kind of like going to a fast food restaurant and expecting a healthy meal or expecting a delicious, wonderful meal. And for me personally, watching the mainstream debate like that would be like me eating junk food. And so I just don't choose to participate in watching that kind of media, which I think is sort of like a reality TV game show designed to create drama and further polarize people and have little sound bites and sponsored by whoever it's sponsored by with, you know, the commercial breaks sponsored by actually, I'd be curious what all the commercials were during the debate last night in the United States. I guess that's the first debate, but I didn't watch it um, and I don't want to. And some people think that I'm uninformed because I don't watch things like that. But, and I understand the feeling, but I do pay attention to what's going on in the world, but I find alternative sources. 
Uh, I'm more interested in non-corporate media that's not sponsored by large corporations that have an agenda. So I'm more interested in listening to regular people that are not millionaires and billionaires talk about what their life is like and what their political ideas are. So I don't choose to watch things like the presidential debate in the United States last night. I do vote, although I don't really know if our voting system is fully honest, but I do vote. And there's so much money and fundraising and lobbyists involved in our voting system, so I'm very skeptical of it. Um, but I will say I do vote, though. I, it's not that I don't vote, but honestly, the amount of money in politics really pretty much guarantees that it's corrupt. Because even uh, Alexandria Oxcavia Cortez, I hope I said her name right, she said that unfortunately, instead of doing her job full time, she has to spend a lot of time fundraising and just getting money so she can do her job, which to me seems absurd. So if most of your job is to fundraise when you work in Washington, D.C., that's unfortunate because that means that everything, everything is backed by an agenda of money and sponsorship which is sad. But I am so grateful that I was just in a webcam group meeting with other people um, because there's um, a there's a couple medical schools that I work for. I, I model for artists now partly online and with my webcam, but I also work with medical students. And for the first time, I'm going to do some webcam uh, meeting. Uh, there's students somewhere that are learning how to be therapists and counselors, and they have hired me and a few other people to pretend to be counseling patients. And so I'm excited to do it online for the first time. I usually go to the school in person. And it was so refreshing to sit and have a meeting with these other people that are all about mental health and people being kind and compassionate and listening and having good eye contact. Although now that we use webcams, it's a whole different kind of eye contact. And I'm looking into the camera lens, looking at myself, then looking at the camera lens. So it's a whole different way of, um, it's just, it was just, nurturing and nourishing and refreshing to to listen. I mostly was just quiet and listened and had my camera, my mic on mute because uh, I didn't need to say anything unless I was asked a question. And But it was just so refreshing and nice to listen to counseling teachers that facilitate uh, how to teach people how to be a good counselor and a good therapist to a client to listen to their respectful, kind, sensitive, intelligent, nourishing way of speaking with each other and having um, respect and ethics and empathy and intelligence and offering feedback and questions and it was just such like what a breath of fresh air so I'm just so grateful for all of the jobs I have working with artists and working with medical uh, schools and medical students and facilitators proctors doctors uh, proctors, facilitators, whatever the job titles are of all these people that I work with, I am so grateful that I do meaningful work that I care about. Um, and I'm, you know, that I earn a living doing these interesting creative things. It's, it's related to acting, uh, working with medical students, whether it's physical exam or a behavioral um, science of learning helping somebody learn how to be a good therapist. And I've also, I've taken acting classes and I've been in a lot of therapy myself. I am in therapy still because um, I had a challenging childhood um, from divorced parents. We moved around a lot. So, you know, and, and I'm an only child. I'm left-handed, uh, introverted, only child and was picked on a lot in school as a kid. And so I have like some really challenging and yet my parents are both sensitive and intelligent so basically I'm just sharing with you that I'm cut out really well for this job as an art and medical model uh, because I have acting experience and because I have artistic experience and acting experience and experience in therapy and so now I'm realizing that these are some of my people these are some of my favorite people are people that care about health 
And I don't mean drugs and surgery and mainstream medicine, which sometimes can harm, although some mainstream medicine is great. The people that I've been working for lately are mostly about mental health and nutrition and getting enough sleep and, you know, doing like lifestyle, making lifestyle choices that help you become as healthy as you can be. Um, so I'm just so grateful about that. I went to the food bank and got amazing stuff and I go to two different food banks, usually every single week. And I share the food with at least two or three other people. Usually, um, most of, most of it's for me, but I share it with some other people and I'm so grateful. So if there's food bank in your area, I recommend you research that and see. I mean, some food banks are better than others. I feel blessed and lucky that here in Seattle, we have some really good ones that I go to. And I'm so grateful to have a safe place to live and a nice landlord. And I'm so grateful for my health. And I am sometimes very emotionally challenged. I tend to get really stressed out and have obsessive compulsive thoughts in my head. So I have challenges with that. But right now it's September 30th, 2020, and I'm feeling really good. I'm so grateful. I have all these like things I need to work on. Things are a bit disorganized, but I'm figuring it out. And I'm so grateful. I have my creative writing group tonight. Every Wednesday, we usually meet online and do creative writing. And I was just so grateful to have this wonderful group webcam meeting with these intelligent people who are trying to help people learn how to be therapists so that they can help patients um, how, be happier and healthier mentally and emotionally. I'm interested in nutrition and health, uh, mental health and physical health. And I'm interested in creativity and art and mental health. And these are some of my main passions, I guess. And I love music and I love animals and I love nature. And I'm just affirming today what I love. Um, because I don't particularly care for things like the presidential debate on national TV here in the United States. I, I don't, I, I think of that as like eating junk food and I believe in staying informed, but I don't believe in watching sensationalistic, uh, programs that are stressful where people are interrupting each other and yelling at each other and making fun or belittling each other and trying to win some kind of ego game contest instead of talking about the real political issues that are very serious. I mean, let's face it, in the United States, money is in our politics. Okay, I'm rambling on too long. It's been 12 minutes, I need to stop. I was gonna try to do a five minute video. It's been now 13 minutes almost. So this is Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring. I decided to keep this video short. I am excited about health and creativity and I stay informed by more in-depth type media. I don't care for the mainstream presidential debate type media with lots of commercials sponsored by large corporations. That's just not my favorite thing. So, but I understand why a lot of people want to watch that. My mom and my dad and my boyfriend all watched it, but I did not. So that's just my life. Uh, and I have other friends who like me chose to not watch that. So there's different strokes for different folks. So good luck to everyone. Bye for now. My website is shannonkringen.com and I have a radio show called Goddess Kring Radio. Yay. Okay. Bye for now. Good luck to everyone. Bye.